For some initial setup, I added two activities to my project, a main activity and a login activity. I created my main activity during project creation and my login activity later on, so Android thinks that I want my main activity to launch in my app first. For this project, I think it makes more sense to have my login activity display first, so let's go ahead and change that. Begin by expanding the manifest folder and then open up the androidmanifest.xml file. In here, what we want to focus on is the intent filter. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the intent filter and its child elements so that you understand the solution better. The intent filter does exactly as its name implies. It is used to describe our intents while filtering out other intents that just aren't necessary. Every intent filter must have an action. In this case, we want the intent's action to be set to main so that Android knows that this is the entry point of the application. Category gives more information about the action. We want this set as launcher so that it appears in the Android launcher as a top level application. Now what we want to do is cut the intent filter out of our main activity and paste it inside our login activity. When I run the program now, the login activity displays first. That works great and all, but you may want to reorganize your activities in your Android manifest file to match the order in which they appear in your program. This way, it's easy to find and adjust them if your application ends up having many activities. Alright, and that's all there is to it. You now know how to change an app's starting activity in Android Studio.